Welcome to Poetry with Shing, where we uncover the beauty behind poetry. The poem of the week is One by James Berry. What is the poem about? This poem is about the things you do for others versus your individuality and the things you do for yourself. The things one does for others can be easily replicated, while the things you do for yourself are often conflicted. In this poem, the idea that all individuals are similar yet different is fleshed out. In the first stanza, the speaker rejects the idea of his lack of uniqueness through the word nobody. By using the noun photocopy machine, it gives the idea that the speaker is rejecting the idea of himself as an object, able to be copied and reproduced. The photocopy machine can only copy 2D objects, or rather only one side of the object, while humans and the speaker is three-dimensional. In the second stanza, the speaker makes a bold statement of the obvious by saying nobody has the fingerprints I have. Fingerprints are representative of the speaker's identity. There is also the sense that his emotions only belong to him and are solely his, as no one can replicate his emotions. In stanza 3, the speaker lists the things that others do which are similar to him. The things that others do are mostly things done for other people or things others can see but not the internal feelings of the person. The use of mimic connotes a copy, and the use of howl is a copy of the action of actually singing. This creates a distancing effect, where one can only copy the action, but not the actual, ac which, but not the actual genuinity of the person. The image of the mirror connotes again a two-dimensional image. Also notice the mirrors don't give perfect copies of people. They give flip images so mirrors can distort a person, connoting what you see on the outside may not be what is actually on the inside of a person. The use of dressed up shows the external appearance again, and the colours red and grey could mean standing out from the rest because of the vibrant colours of red and not standing out because of the colour grey. In stanza 4, you may wonder how getting into clothes is different from the external experience of clothing in stanza 3, but notice that getting into one's clothes is an experience and an intrinsic choice Thus, it is what makes an individual. In stanza 5, similarly the use of shape shows the personal thought process of speaking that is unique to an individual. In stanza 6, the use of the word act suggests mimicking and the use of stutter is a sound which is not the same as one's internal thoughts. The use of copy also shows that others' replication of the speaker is not original and echoes are fainter versions of the actual sound. Why does the poet choose to end the poem on the note of copying? The poet acknowledges that no one is 100% unique, but he will reclaim the identity he feels he is in control of. He also recognises that it is not easy to be 100% original, thus ending the poem on the note of copying. Have another poem you want analysed? Comment the name of the poem and poet in the comments below.